today we are going to make a chip cup from Beauty and the Beast. A little chip here. I've got a photo of them here to reference so I can look at. I've got a cut styrofoam ball. Uh, I'm using this just so that it's not a solid piece of gum paste so that it doesn't, uh, so it's not so heavy and we don't waste as much gum paste. So I'm just kneading my gum paste now. I am going to place this upside down. I'm gonna douse it with some gum glue. You really can use anything. I'm gonna to be totally covering this and it's gonna just dry to itself. You can use shortening, piping gel, whatever. Just putting something to make it a little sticky. This is for a topper. Um, that's going to go on a cake. Just going to flatten it out a little bit to help myself. And then cover it right on there. So this chip is going to be made in multiple stages right now. I'm basically making the cup part. We're going to put his face features on it and then cover it with another piece. So this is just pretty much the, the inside of the cup. I want a flat bottom. See, I've got a little thing here. I'm going to fix that. Okay, now that I have my basic shape, my little, my inside of the cup, I'm going to let this dry a little bit before I do the next stage so that I don't mess up what I've got here.
it back. Cover this in some shortening. We can do water, piping gel, whatever you wish. Okay, got this upside down on a bowl because I want the cup to extend further than this base that I have here. I didn't want, when I was making this, when I was thinking about making this topper, I knew I didn't want it to be a solid chunk of, of, of cup, but I would also need some structure here. So I decided to make a little small thick piece that I could put the facial features on, and that will be my T. I'll make it look like it has T inside of it. And then the exterior piece will have uh, will extend so that it's not completely full. Okay, I'm going to trim it. So I'm turning it outwards because the top of the cup kind of curves out. So I'm just it's going to take a minute to really get this shape where it adheres to the cup and then turns out. Okay, now that I see that, I'm gonna trim again. And I can still use the scissors to trim. It does not have to be perfect because it's going to have that gold rim on top, which will be another piece of fondant. I'll probably need to do this, go around a couple times, make sure it's even. back here because just to kind of play with it obviously I don't want it sticking out that much we just want a gentle curve So what I'm going to do, because this is really delicate to work with like this, I'm actually going to let this 
sit right here. I'll probably be messing with it for a little bit and let it slightly harden like this. And then I'll flip it back over and trim it better when it's a little hard and it won't flop, flop down on me. So we'll give it a few minutes. And I'm actually, actually, what I'll do is I'll just have to work upside down because I don't want this part to dry too much. So before we move on, I'm gonna work on my lip shape. Just have to do it upside down. This is where this is his mouth here. So I'm giving him a little upper lip. this to flatten this space. Okay, so I've got my bottom and upper lip. I'm gonna detail this a little bit more. Okay, now the cheek. Let me give a little. His eye is gonna go right there. Right above the cheek. And I think the bottom has enough. And he's got a little lip and dimple here. It's hard to do upside down. <laughs> but I think right okay before I can put the eyes on we have to finish shaping this correctly on the eyes. I wasn't sure about the sizes until I saw the cup, so I have a few things here. I'll test a few sizes. This oval is really narrow. I'm going to 
open it up. Just trying to picture if this is a good size. <laughs> I think that's good. The problem with squashing cutters like this is you have to get them to match perfectly. It's not that easy. Okay, they look pretty matching. I'm going to take a little brush. And we're doing gray on or white on white here for the eyes. So I'm just taking a little gray petal dust and very lightly going around the eyes so it kind of enhances the shadowing and it doesn't blend in. do a darker black on top here so we've got lidded eyes here Tyler can go with that mama what's your little shopping Okay, that was a bit much. Got a little carried away. That one's ruined. But I still have. Gentle shadowing. Hi, sweetie. Hold on, sir. Somehow, there's 
I have to hand trim it. No, you can hand it. I was saying he couldn't have the Takis because the Takis have red sauce. Okay, so now I'm going to fill this cavity here. I'm just going to put some water. I'm going to fill it. I just happen to have this darker gold color, and I'm going to be covering it with um, sort of brown piping gel. So this gold will be just fine. And I'm going to use a sugar shaper here and just kind of Tuck and shape it to the edges.
down please. I'm going to take it back with a spoon, dip it in water. Smooth it out a little more. Okay, so there we have our tea and our teacup. So as you can see, I painted some details. I gave I put on his eyes and little eyebrows. I gave him some dimension around the mouth and on the cheekbones and a couple little marks to kind of rough them up because he's a well-used teacup of course.